So in this presentation, we are going to uh, talk about epoxy and polyurethane pool coatings. We're going to present you our pool coatings and give you some general information about how to use pool coatings. So um, let's understand pool coatings. We're seeing a picture here. Someone is painting over a previously coated epoxy pool. And if you play, um, if you pay close attention, you'll see that there's even um, tiles underneath that previous coating. And we'll get to tiles in a minute. So basically, pool coatings are applied on the inside of a pool as an alternative to tiles or pools. It's a, it's like a paint applied on the inside. I wouldn't say it's a waterproofing on its own. You need more than just a pool coating to waterproof the pool. But it is an alternative to tiles or, for example, uh, PVC membranes. You can coat the inside of a pool. And the main advantages, here's two more pictures of uh, pools that have been coated with our own products. One is that pool coatings are easy to apply and recoat. You can just apply and recoat, change the color very quickly, very easily. It doesn't require stripping the entire surface, removing, for example, a membrane or removing the uh, tiles. You can just recoat quickly. Next, you can change the appearance. So let's say one year you have a blue color, next year you have a white color. I have, uh, we have customers that are hotels, they always want to change the color of their pools. It's very easy to do it. Um, some companies, some hotels like white colors, some like blue, some like dark blue, whatever you want, you can change the appearance of the pool. And the third advantage is a low replacement cost. If you put tiles and the tiles start to fail, Stripping all the tiles and replacing them can be quite costly. The same with a membrane, um, like a PVC membrane or a liner. It looks great when it's new, but a few years down the road, removing it and putting something else in place is quite expensive. So let's talk about the application of pool coatings. And um, we can just mention a few things. They can be applied, and usually they are applied, on cementitious waterproofing. Um, they can also be applied on tiles, as I show you in the second picture here. However, you need to make sure that the tiles are, first of all, stable. They're not loose. They're not falling loose because trying to coat over a tile will not do anything if the tile underneath is loose. And make sure that the tiles have been ground, like grinded. You don't want the glossy, shiny tile. You want it to be sanded off. So the primer that we're going to give you actually sticks to the pool. It's very important. Otherwise, you shouldn't be coating over tiles. And you can also apply over other pool coatings that are, of course, compatible. If you're going to apply epoxy on epoxy, they are compatible. But you want to make sure, for example, epoxy on polyurethane is not compatible. You should be using a primer first, our primer, and then apply an epoxy coating on a PU. Always do some testing to make sure that you're applying on a compatible pool coating. Very important, this is why we have it in very large letters, never apply straight on concrete. Some people believe they can just uh, paint the concrete foundations with pool paint and that's enough for the pool to work. You will get leaks. You need to always have an intermediate cementitious waterproofing layer between the concrete and the coating. Cementitious waterproofing is very important. Um, and the reason is, it's not just to protect from the water inside the pool, but also on the outside. You know, you'll be surprised how many times water gets into the pool or leaks from the outside, from like the garden from the outside, and the pressure presses the pool and presses the coating. So you want to make sure that it's well waterproof from the inside and the outside. Another important application, um, recommendation always apply one to two coats of Ktis Epox Hydro PR. This is our primer. It's a water-based epoxy primer. We recommend it for both of our pool coatings. So whether you apply epoxy pool coating or a uh, polyurethane pool coating, we recommend that you apply this first. And now let's go to the products, the products that we sell. Um, we have two products. Ktis Epox Piscine is our epoxy-based pool coating. We uh, ship tons and tons of this every year to many hotels and to many um, private companies. The second one is Ktisopur UV Pool. It's an aliphatic PU coating. Um, the main difference between the two is our first uh, epoxy-based pool coating is good for um, two to three years. Then it requires renewing. Our second case, our second our polyurethane coating, it is a, it's longer life. And this is what we're going to talk to you now about. So this is a person applying Tizapox Piscine. 
you need to recoat this every two to three years. And the reason is because epoxy is not as UV resistant as polyurethane is. After two to three years, it will start to chalk, it will start to yellow a bit. So you definitely want to be recoating it every two to three years. Ketizapur UV, our uh, PU product, has much longer UV resistance, so it can last five plus years. We've seen it last 10 years, uh, but it's also a matter of um, how you're maintaining your pool, what sort of like chemicals you're using, but it can easily last five plus years. You should get a very good result if you apply Ketizapur UV. Now, the recommended consumption is about 200 to 250 grams per square meter per coat. Remember, when you're applying on the floor of the pool, consumption will be slightly higher. On the walls, it will be slightly lower. This is an average value we're giving you, 200 to 250 grams. Always apply at least two coats of pool coating on top of the primer that we just we told you earlier about. And you can also add thinner. In fact, thinner helps to make the uh, product slightly less, um, slightly better fluid and it won't drip as much if you apply thinner. So you can add thinner. Uh, we recommend xylene and we can provide you with this thinner. It can be added up to 10%. Now, um, some final tips. The um, For the polyurethane coating, you can also apply a liquid membrane underneath the main, the top coating as an additional waterproofing layer. And you can use our Anajon 2K um, PU membrane product for that. And you can apply on top of Ketizopur UV. Uh, because they're both polyurethane based, they are compatible. A final tip is we always recommend that if you're not using the pool, always have it covered or even filled with water. So if you have a pool that you just uh, you only use it in the summer, you can keep it. if you can keep it filled with water, it will prolong the life of the coating. Um, because there is no direct contact of the sun with the coating. So we always recommend to keep your pools either covered in the winter or filled with water when they're not in use. So that was our presentation. Here we've got a few more of our uh, flagship products. You can see our epoxy-based floor coatings, self-leveling coatings, rooftop PU coating, um, acrylic coatings. Visit our website. You can learn more about our products there. Feel free to contact us. Send us an email. We are based in Greece, we ship all over the world, however, only wholesale, we do not ship small quantities because it's just too expensive. So if you're interested in a wholesale, in a, in a wholesale relationship with us, if you want to apply our products or you want to distribute some of our products, uh, please feel free to contact us and we're happy to help you further. Once again, this is our uh, website and our email and this is a pool we recently uh, coded. Uh, in the Athens uh, area. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to subscribe to our channel.